it's beer o'clock on the Lil Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Four Pure Brewing Company and it's a can of their oatmeal stout coming in at 5.1% ABV. I like the branding on the can, got a typical British red telephone box, the London Shard I think behind that, L British lamppost uh, and then Big Ben. I like that. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass then. It's developing a nice one to two finger tan coloured head. More or less a jet black beer in the glass. There's a little bit of light bleeding through the bottom of the glass as you can see. Uh, good levels of carbonation. A nice looking beer. Let's get the aroma. Aroma then is, is full of chocolate, coffee, caramel, bit of tobacco smoke. A little bit of creme brulee aroma where they put that lovely sugar on the top and they burn it. Definitely a touch of that there. But I'm really enjoying that. It's almost got an aroma of a brown ale mixed with a little bit of tobacco smoke. It's quite, it's a little bit nutty in its own way. Let's, let's dive into this one. It smells great. Cheers. Hmm. Full of flavour and a definite, I would say this is a typical session stout. If you were to call a stout a session stout, if you wanted to drink three or four pints or cans or halves of stout, this would be it. This would be it. Full of flavour, yet surprisingly, I mean for stouts, yes, it's got a good mouthfeel, it has, but it's, it's edging towards a very drinkable stout, a session stout. It's got a nice balance between lots of flavour and good drinkability, but maintaining that that lovely creamy mouthfeel somehow. It's nutty. There's a touch of that brown ale as I was talking about earlier, that kind of slight nut brown ale flavour in there. A little bit of sweet caramel, biscuit malt, roasted malt, and that comes through as some chocolate, bitter dark chocolate, some coffee, espresso coffee. It's lovely, yeah. Carbonation is enough to push the beer around the inside of the mouth. And the reason I got this get the rest of the can in there. The reason I picked this one up is uh, I was away for the weekend uh, visiting family down in Salisbury in Wiltshire and we had a bit of a, a night in Indian takeaway type thing and t sorry Thai curry we had a Thai curry the second night but we needed some beer to go with it. So we went into the local Tesco in Salisbury and I picked up some of these four pure stouts and I drunk three, I think I bought six cans. I think I drunk four, reviewing one and I got one left. Uh, and I enjoyed it on the night and I thought, I'm not sure if I've reviewed this one. Banged it into YouTube. Surprisingly enough, no, I hadn't reviewed this beer, so I thought, yeah, it's tasty, it's sessionable, it's drinkable, uh, it goes well with a Thai curry. Look at it, look at the carbonation rising nicely up the side of the glass. It looks very good for a stout. As I mentioned before, you can almost see as you rock the beer around in the glass, you can see it's a drinkable stout, yet you can see that it does still have some body. I'm going to rate it. I'm 
This 5.1% ABV stout is drinkable. It's got enough flavour to pass it as a stout. I like the nut brown ale aspect that's kind of underlying that's going on there as well. Um, I like that enough to give it a very solid 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Riedel Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.